hey yeah I've got a combination lock here and you can get these ones that come with several different brand names different models you can even get them as a generic one with no brand name on them like I did and that is a sign of a cheap lock where they do that and let me show you how to decode this combination if you've got one of these locks uh, first of all I'm going to change the combination before I decode it I'm going to that little indent I have to put down there and you have to hold it with quite quite a bit of force otherwise you get in trouble like I'm going to really hold it down with the palm of my hand make sure it I just wiggled this to make sure it clicks in because this is a cheap lock and it's not easy to change this combination you have to hold it down quite hard otherwise not all the wheels will be engaged when you change the combination and you'll mess up your combination okay so I'm going to change it to a combination I don't know by just scrambling the wheels all the wheels are moving easily if they don't it means you're not pressing it down properly okay so I've that should do it now I'm going to lift it up and then close it and scramble the wheels again okay it's set to a combination that I don't know and what what you do is you tension the shackles if you're trying to pull it open and I often um, tension with this finger and put put my thumb and these two fingers down here so that I can tension it with one hand. If you find that hard, you might be able to attach something to the shackle to to try and help you pull it. The idea is I'm I'm trying to to tension this this shackle with one hand so that I can have the other hand to turn the wheels. Now I find that the this disc here closest to the shackle is the one that's hardest to turn. The, this, these ones are easy to easier to turn. So I'm going to turn this. Just, just turn it, turn it, turn it. And you heard that click. Clicked in there. I felt something on the shackle. And when I, I still maintaining um, medium tension I can turn this quite a bit you know left and right to, to nearly four nearly six and it doesn't want to come out of that I can't turn it past that it's in a in a big gate it doesn't want to come out of that unless I release tension so all those things tell me that this is a true gate uh, that um, you heard a click you felt the um, shackle move a bit and it's in a seem to lurch into a gate jump into a gate and a gate with a lot to play that left and right play and it doesn't want to come out unless I release tension so another thing is there are no false gates this is the only one that clicked and so it's it's pretty it's another sign that this is a cheap lock I'm going to go to the second wheel now that I'm confident five is the correct number. I'm just going to turn this. Oh, it sort of um, jumped a bit, but it's not stuck in a gate. So Okay, so there's something going on. It, it clicks a little bit at six. It, with lots of tension, it... it it doesn't easily come out of that gate if I if I um still still use lots of tension but just move it slightly I can sort of feel that yeah it's um it wants to stay in there unless I turn hard so it's not as obvious as a first wheel I didn't feel anything from a movement from the shackle but I did hear a slight click and also it doesn't want to come out of the air um that easily if i if i turn it um hard then it will um it will come out out of there now i'm just gonna let go and give my fingers a rest you can see how hard i've been uh 
um, tensioning this the shackle so you might find it easier to use a glove uh, um, you know you, sometimes you need uh, strong fingers uh, the general rule is the more you tension it the more obvious the gate will be you might be able to just tension it a little bit and still and, and you know it, you just need to make sure that you are you are looking for that those subtle things so i'm not going to tension it that hard i'm going to see if i can do the the next wheel so i'm tensioning it um, a lot softer this time It sort of um, was easier to move, it sort of lurched into that position of five and it doesn't want to come out that easily when I go left and right from five. So I think it's five, six, five so far and I'm just going to turn this one. There. Um, so it happened to be five six five six as the random combination. So that's how you decode one of these locks. Thanks.